You might think dress for success means putting on your best suit for a job interview. But when you're working with pesticides, wearing personal protective equipment, or PPE, could save your life. PPE is special apparel and devices worn to protect your body from contact with pesticides or pesticide residues. Different types of PPE can include aprons, chemical resistant gloves, coveralls, waterproof footwear, goggles, and respirators. But how do you pick the right PPE for the job? Before you do anything, make sure you read and understand the pesticide label. Look for words like caution, warning, or danger. This tells you how harmful the pesticide product could potentially be to your skin, eyes, lungs, or if swallowed. Pesticide product labels will also specify what kind of PPE is required to handle the pesticide safely. Pay special attention to the directions and examples outlined on the product label. Remember, if you don't have the required PPE, do not use or handle the pesticide. So now you've read the pesticide label and you're ready to suit up. Start with a pair of waterproof, unlined boots. Next, put on a pair of disposable, chemical-resistant coveralls over top a long sleeve shirt and pants. Wear green neoprene gloves of at least mid-forearm length. The gloves should be worn with the tops cuffed and under the sleeves of your coveralls. Your respirator should have cartridges installed that protect against organic vapors. Look for either a black or yellow band around the cartridges. For eye protection, the best practice is to use splash goggles rather than safety goggles, as they form a complete seal around your eyes. Once you've got all of your PPE gear together, you will need to make sure that everything is in good working order. Start by checking your PPE for any signs of wear and tear, such as damaged seals in the face mask, or small holes or tears in the gloves and protective clothing. Keep in mind, some PPE, like respirators, have an expiration date, so check the original packaging or instructions to make sure it is still safe to wear. If the expiration date has passed, throw it out. Do not reuse any disposable or one-time use PPE. It may be contaminated or no longer effective. Also, dispose of any reusable PPE that looks as if it hasn't been stored or cleaned properly. It could put you at risk. While working with your PPE, there will be times where you might feel uncomfortable, especially in hot and humid weather. But discomfort or warm weather is never a good reason for not wearing the proper PPE. Instead, try working during the coolest parts of the day, take frequent rest breaks, and drink plenty of water. You can also see if there are ways to safely reduce the need for certain types of PPE, such as applying pesticides with a closed cab tractor, for example, using a closed tank spray loading system, and switching to another pesticide formula. Remove any PPE as soon as you're finished working with the pesticide and clean it carefully according to the manufacturer's instructions without contaminating yourself. Disposable PPE should be appropriately discarded to avoid contaminating people or polluting the surrounding environment with pesticide residues. The best practice is to keep your gloves on while you're removing any protective clothing and personal protective equipment. Ideally, you should wash your hands with gloves on and with soap and water. Remove your clothing and then remove your gloves last. Put on a new pair of disposable nitrile gloves when washing or handling any used protective clothing or PPE. Reusable PPE should be stored in a designated container and washed separately from household laundry prior to use. Here's the bottom line. Pesticides are an important tool, but your safety should always come first. The PPE specified on the pesticide label is there to protect you and everyone else who handles the product. If you still have any questions about what PPE to wear after reading the label, contact the pesticide manufacturer, the equipment manufacturer, your local crop specialist, or your provincial health and safety department. Armed with the right information, you can dress for success and stay safe too.